Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Around the World Season 5. This season is the Antarctica season. The season is a team of two split spawn mumble, as you can see from me falling down right now. It's mumble, and from that baby screeching. Um, so this season, along with that, is a permakill game mode. I don't know why I said it like that, but that means that every kill that the daylight cycle is, or the... It's switched from night and day every time there's a kill because Antarctica's got a weird daylight cycle in real life, dude. Um, the game mode is also a kind of custom spawn terrain, which is just a whole snowy map with not many trees and sugarcane and stuff. So we're going to be giving out starter wood, or actually, yeah, we'll give out starter wood, starter apples, and starter sugarcane to everybody. And uh, as far as the console stuff, um, absorption's off and heads heal 4. Um, apple rates are 2% with shearing enabled. Uh, uh, apples only drop from oak though, so we're not gonna... We're, we're still giving out apples. Flint rates are 50%. Horses disabled. Uh, fire aspect and flame are off. Enderpearl damage is apparently disabled. That's okay. Um, uh, roller coasting is allowed, uh, even though it says it isn't on the mining thing, but strip mining is not, so don't do that. Uh, nether's disabled, obviously, because there's no nether in the freaking Antarctica. And it's time for the thank Let's yous, go. guys. Yes. Thank you yes. to me for organizing with Ryan. Thank yes. you to Tags for the TS. Yes. Thank you to Frostbros for no, the mumble. No, I wanted to thank Frostbros for the mumble! Hey. Say it. Thank you, Frostbros, for, for the mumble. For killing friends. Thank you to Shade and Ellie for killing Brent. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you to Pi for Hi. coding and technically hosting, and, uh, just giving Flame us the Warp. server. Floor, uh, my thank you to Flame Orb for making the beautiful spawn. Yes. yes. And thank you to Zarki and Jackson for playing. Yep. And thank you, Maku. Thank you. Thank you, Maku. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And without further ado, let's get started with Around the World Season 5. Yes. 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 Hello, my single solitary viewer, and welcome to Around the World Season I Don't Even Know. And uh, we're in Antarctica, apparently. So, uh, we already got some stuff, some apples and some wood. So, I'm gonna get to work on crafting... <laughs> I'm crafting some stuff. Getting more reeds, even. Because, what's the point of uh, being next to a river? If you can't get the extra reeds that haven't despawned quite yet. There you go. That's what I'm looking for as well. An easy source of stone. So I can uh, get started on getting my stone tools. Now, this is split spawn, so I'm teamed with a poor Speedosher. Again, poor guy. Uh, I don't know why he's always stuck with me. Well, not always, but he's been stuck with me quite a few times. And things... Uh, Actually, one time, I think, maybe, things went well for us when we were in a larger team. But uh, aside from that, things did not go very well. We don't have a very winning record. I think the last time we teamed was as a team of two in Back, of back in Time, Egypt, which was uh, season three, maybe? So apparently, Cut Clean is on. So there's that. Gonna craft a, a sword and a bucket. And a better pick. There you go. How about that? How about them apples? 
Uh, maybe I should uh, craft uh, an axe as well. <laughs> if I want to get a... Uh, whoa. Whoa. What are you doing, Flues? That was almost like a huge mistake. And I got enough for this. And I'm even going to make an iron shovel. Now, you know why? Because I think making a trap in here might be actually very easy if you just collect a lot of these. And there might be a spot where I can make a spleefable area. So it's not really a, a high-level trap, but, uh, you know, I might, I might be able to do that. Maybe get that done. I see more reeds over there, so I'm just going to go nab them. And I'll uh, try and... Uh, Maybe head towards zero zero at the same time. So is this that direction? Yep. Just to see what uh, what it smells like. So uh, it's split spawn, but I'm not allowed to tell Speedo that I'm heading to zero zero. I'm not allowed to communicate anything uh, until next episode. In episode 2, when PvP is on, and at, at which point, I'll be able to tell him exactly where I, I am in public chat. So, that I'd be telling the rest of the world where I am. And so, they'll uh, want that free, easy, Fluzmaker kill easily done. Because I'm just about the worst player on, in here. So, there's Mav. Fluzmaker, help hey Mav, how you doing? I need food. I'm out oh. of sprint. <laughs> oh no, that's a bad sign then. Bill! Bill! You bastards! <laughs> Bill, I have no food. I just ran I was on the way at the border. Are you really? I have, I have apples, but I don't want to touch them. I do too. Yeah, I don't want to touch them. Alright, so, thank god I am not late for my very important date. What date? It was you. That was a date oh. at zero zero. I came Our as, as fast as I could. I was joking about that, but I bought like right beside it. <laughs> I, well, I figured I'd be here anyway, regardless. So. Those nerds. <laughs> Did you see those nerds? Oh, there's two other people over there. But that's not my team. That's not my speedo. But I see some actual uh, some actual oak trees over here. I'm gonna chop that a little bit. I don't know how we're gonna get some food though. I have no idea how to get food. This is bad. Okay. No food. I'll soon be out of sprint. And I'll probably have to use... the um... the apples, the actual red apples, just to eat. Let me grab that one right there. <laughs> I didn't grab an extra apple just to uh, watch it fall into somebody else's hands. Their dirty, dirty hands. How sm how smelly they are. Yeah, I'm not getting extra iron over here. Another apple. That might actually be my source of food. What I actually want as well is some saplings. <laughs> I figure wherever I go cave, I'm going to plant the samplings above on the surface, and hopefully they'll grow while I cave, and I might be able to get more apples that way. Next level strats. That's what I'm, that's what I'm counting on. That's Brent. Is that Brent? Or is that, uh... Who's that? Yeah, that is Brent. It calls me all right. I think. It looks like Oddballer. Also going to zero zero. Are, are saplings not going to be falling over here or what? OMG. OMG. Well, that's gonna, that's gonna settle that. 
I didn't get a single sapling. That's amazing. All right. Let's move along. They're all over there. We already know where the party's at. It's not where I am. But it's uh, still noon. I still got time. But I do want, you know, when the sun sets, I do want to move away from zero zero. I do believe. But look at that. Already without food. I'm gonna have to eat the red apples. I'm glad I got two. That's ridiculous. Ten steak for all. Oh, thank you. That'll work. Oh, much better. All right. So, uh, this is uh, also in Mumble, as you might have noticed, like, uh, you know, we could hear the other players when they met up with us, with me, with moi, and when they moved away, uh, a distance farther than 70 blocks, 70 blocks is, is their hearing distance. Um, we can't hear nothing no more. So what you do normally uh, in such circumstances is um, you you sing stupid songs. And uh, I don't know, since this is Antarctica, I should uh, do a song that is uh, that fits thematically. So of course it should be in Spanish because Antarctica, uh, will be colonized by the Spanish, uh, because they colonize everywhere. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the Lat Latinos and, and anything, someone, you know, Spanish speaking nations, that's, that's, they're going to be the ones who actually populate the area, you know, with real population, not, not just, uh, not just like a, a science base or something. No, 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 no. Real population with, with the, the whole thing. So, uh, unfortunately, I, uh, I've never learned Spanish. I don't know any Spanish, really. Um, all I know, I've never had a course. Like, most Americans are lucky enough to probably have a, a Spanish course or two in high school. Not the case in Canada, because we learn French and English. And that's all. So, you know, the Spanish, well, it goes, it goes by the wayside. The 10 steak is not going to be enough, my friends. I tell you that much. Because I've already eaten three. Gee. What a terrible cave. But apparently, uh, Speedo did not have the same idea I had. He's not really interested in going to zero zero. So, uh, what that means is I'm going to be lonely until episode five, probably. And he's going to be all geared up killing people, and I'm going to get. Uh, Jumped and easied by the first person who sees me. And they're going to be like, oh, easy flues maker. That's going to be easy. All right. Let's get to the, the promised song. Did I commit to singing in Spanish? Okay. Uh, let's see. What? Like, I've been to Mexico, so I know, I know, me, uh, donde esta la bibliotecas, you know? Even though all tourists definitely want to go to the library. That's definitely the first destination. You think of going. Um, and, and you know, I'll try to get get the melody right. Like, huevos rancheros con frijoles y con jugo de naranja para el desayuno. Desayuno muy peligroso. Burrito de carne y queso. Un poco de veneno para el desayuno. Un desayuno peligroso. So um, I guess that's uh, that's gonna be my uh, my chorus right here. Un 
un desayuno peligroso. Café con azúcar y leche. Y una sorpresa mortal para el desayuno. Un desayuno peligroso. Un desayuno muy peligroso. I feel I feel like uh I feel like uh, I've done my duty here. I, I can I can freely die at this point, and uh, everything was accomplished. That was not beautiful, and uh, it was cringy. But at least it was ah. cringy. And someone decided to log off or load a texture pack. Very wise. Sorry for um, not making really, um, like, I, I can't believe I didn't find a single anemone. Well, I'm not really surprised, really. But I'm, I'm guessing nobody's gonna have any feathers to speak of. Ugh. I mean, the iron's all there, but I don't like them skellies. I don't like them skeletons. So I'm uh, gonna move in a direction that is rather different. Para el desayuno. Huevos rancheros. Yes. Uh, uh, y frijoles. Uh, what was the next thing? Jugo de naranja? Yeah, yeah. Para el desayuno. So those those are like award-winning lyrics. I feel like it's the soundtrack to the movie uh, of Antarctica, of course. Uh, it's a movie uh, by what's his name, the Mexican director, who just won the Oscar the the other year, or gold, was it the Golden Globe? You know, it's on the tip of my tongue, and of course that means I'm not going to find out until like three hours later, which obviously is useless to me right now. But uh, what I'm sure to not do is to come back and splice that in, in editing. I'm not doing that. And if you've noticed that I'm uh, apparently heading straight back to zero zero again, you know, you're right. You're correct. I'm doing that exactly that. Like an idiot. I didn't find any food at zero zero. I didn't find a teammate either. And I think that's... That's close to where I, I got a lot of stuff. It would be neat if, um, well, I don't really need to mine a whole lot of coal, obviously, but it would have been neat. Oh, you know what? This seed I'm uh, taking. I would normally throw seed away like I'm, uh, I'm at the sperm bank and ma making a, making a deposit. But, <laughs> but, um, yeah, given the uh, food sitch, I think I might want to Hold on to that a little longer than than I otherwise would. But at least I'm full iron. And I can uh, make three books thanks to the donations I've received as starter gear. I otherwise have nothing. So, if it wasn't for the mumble, I could... Like, dig a, a pit at zero, zero. Like a fall. I wouldn't really want to dig the pit. It would probably be... The easiest way would probably be to actually cover a ravine, perhaps? With uh, snow blocks that you can spleef? But 
But, uh, no, that's ridiculous. Like, I don't think I can start caving if I don't get feathers? Chickens? Something? That's ridiculous. Also, I have to uh, keep an eye on Tab. Oh, Speedo does not have his usual skin. <sighs> because then I would have looked for the eye patch to appear and say, Oh, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the same chunk. I'm in the same chunk as Le Speedo. That'd be anywhere. And you know, it's not even the, uh, the ice world that has been improved in later versions of Minecraft. It's really the one where there's n nothing. Nothing. Passive mobs do not, in fact, spawn. And I'm at the border. Okay, well, I'm going to hug the border. Like a border hugger. And see if I can... Uh... Well, someone started here. That was a convenient starting location. Well, okay, that doesn't mean they started here, but it's where they decided to get their... Uh... I'm actually going to have to punch grass and pull a badge. That's insane. And if I see, the moment I see an actual oak tree somewhere, I'm, uh, I'm staying there and cutting it as well. I'm gonna have to take damage just to eat Gapples. And Gapples is not strong for the saturation game. It's not, uh, it's not so good. But um, I imagine most players are in the same situation I am, where they uh, they're down to only four stake. Oh my my! Oh. Another person started around the area, so they would have killed the living things in the area as well, had there been any. But I'm thinking maybe their butcher, like, butchered any passive mob as well. Alright, there's one oak tree over here. That's right. You just saw what I did. You saw what I did. Sponsored by the Flues Crew on Patreon.